today we're going to install an application called Action Blocks by Google, and this is going to help you create all kinds of shortcut buttons. Now, as we open up the application, of course, you have to agree to the terms and conditions. As soon as you get in, you may be asked to actually sign into a Google account if you haven't already done that on your Android phone. But you can see the Create Action Block button. Once inside of there, we have a number of options. So we can start with simple things like making a phone call or a video call. Now the video call would require Google Duo on your phone as well. You can send text messages as well as play videos and music. Now you can also set alarms and under more action we have things like reminders and the ability to open up applications, open the calendar, get directions to a specific place, set temperature, and then turn on and off our lights. And there's also a create custom action button here. And this really is direct access to the full Google Assistant. So this is just like working within routines in the Google Home application. So you can pretty much type in anything that you could there. So you just saw me type in, turn on all lights. If I have a Google Home application filled with a number of smart home lighting, then I'm going to be able to do that. The options are limitless, but you could do something like play my playlist named, and then you would have to say on a certain service, on the speakers you'd like to play it on, or you could just say play my playlist named X and that would play it on your phone. Now I have a device called Coffee Pot in my smart home that is connected to Google Home and therefore I have access to that device. So I'm going to type in turn on the Coffee Pot and this will allow me to actually turn on that device. Now once I hit the next button, I actually get the opportunity to test this action to make sure it works. If you hit that, it will actually try and do that but for now, I'm going to hit skip and I'll show you that this works later. Now, once I'm in the next screen, I can select an image to depict this as because this is going to become a icon or what looks like a widget to a lot of us. So you can see there's a lot of different icons you can pick from. You could go to your photo library if you wanted to take a picture of something, but there's a coffee pot. And now I've just got to put a name here. So I'm going to call it coffee on and hit save. Now, you hold on that icon that they just put up on screen and you will get the opportunity to drag it onto your home page. Now, once you've picked it up again, you can actually resize it. You can see you get the little dots around it and that allows you to resize it. You can move these around and then pull and drag those dots in order to resize. So now I have my full layout as I want it and I'm going to tap on coffee on and you can see it's executing the Google Assistant command that just says turn on the coffee pot like we typed in. So once I go back into the application, I can actually hold on any of these icons for a second, let go. I get edit, delete, the ability to place it on the home screen or test the action again. All of those things are doable so you can recreate and make more and adjust what you've already done. Now, I'm just going to press on one of these which actually says turn on the bedroom lights. It will execute that for me and all of these different buttons I can execute here. So you can see turn off all lights as well executed and it does all of these things. You can go ahead and create your own just like I have. Really the sky is the limit with the Google Assistant. Now if you like this quick tutorial that showed you how to use something that will be very effective at saving you time in your smart life, then go ahead and join us here on Automate Your Life Tutorials. Otherwise, thanks for watching and of course, don't hate automate.